It's a story that's been told for tens of thousands of years. Well, Raven is born uh, to some people in Haida Gwaii and he has special abilities and, the, and he's growing too fast so the parents don't, can't understand what's wrong. They think something is seriously wrong with him and if he keeps maturing like this, he'll die before he's a teenager. It's a story of selfishness and generosity. So all kinds of really good uh, lessons in the story for children and adults. Many adults today, you'd be generous because you want to be generous, not because you think it'll come back to you in a big way. Roy Henry Vickers says the Raven Brings the Light is geared towards children 1 to 100. The world-renowned First Nations artist is known for his beautiful traditional paintings and carvings. If you've been to Tofino, you've most likely heard of his gallery. About 500,000 people walk through it every year. But the only image I had was this. Right. This is his fifth and book, and since its release on April 22nd, it has gone to number one on the BC bestsellers list, and the first edition has sold out. The story is one he's heard since he was a child. I, I don't recall the first time I ever heard the story of Raven bringing light to the world, but I remember in my teens when I consciously had questions about where the story came from. There was a time when two people in Guayanas. So he started telling the story orally again and again to thousands of people. And I remember trying to write one of the stories down a few years ago. It didn't work for me. And so I just said, no, some stories are meant to be told and not written. But along came Lucky Bud. The whole thing was an absolute joy. There were so many moments. The whole thing was born out of joy. Lucky Bud is a CBC host, runs a company called Memories to Memoirs, and along with working on his book, is Vicar's biographer. They met less than two years ago. Look, you're going to be turning 66 soon. You had an incredible life. Has anyone thought about doing your biography? And he said, I've talked to a lot of people about it. Never found the right person to collaborate with, never had the right time. I'm going to be in Tofino in two weeks. Do you want to come down and meet me? And then he pushed him to start this book. The vision was just so clear right from the very beginning. I had this vision of what this thing was and I was able to communicate that to Roy so that he was able to jump on and then we both had the vision. The book was put together in six to eight weeks and the beautiful illustrations, all 18 of them, were done in a matter of months. Roy typically does 12 images a year and he did 18 in less than three months for this and at one point he did nine in 14 days. This book is the first in a series of at least four books. The Raven Brings the Light is in bookstores now. In Victoria, I'm Shita Singh.